So we are here, the most decisive statement. No more existence seemed an aimless fall. There is the whole of metaphysics also packed in one single sentence. First, there is a fall. That fall has an aim. And that aim is now justified because of her. That fall is justified because of her. Fall, the entire process of involution, going into the void and may again emerging out of the void, emerging out of the void as another, so to say, another divine, divine in multiplicity, in innumerability, not alone, not one, not single, but in multiplicity. That is the aim. And if that multiplicity has to come, that can come because of her. Because of her. What we have in that little book, The Mother, the Holocaust of the Mother. She sacrificed the supreme status, plunged into the nothing, so that out of the nothing, a divine creation can emerge in the form of multiple glories. So no more, so that no more existence, that is completely justified because of her, because of that wisdom. Behind that fall, there is that wisdom. Extension was no more the soul release. Extension, getting out of this creation, is not the release. Now he says, of course, you see very carefully how, how uh, precise these statements can be. It, it, can be more, it cannot be more precise than any mathematical equation. No more the soul release. The soul release is absolutely mathematical, you see such precision, there can be released by forgetting about this creation. By forgetting about this creation, there can be the release, but that is not the only way of getting release. The real release, if there is an aim behind everything, the real release will come through her. She is the one who will give meaning to life here in the mortal world. The hidden world was found. The secret of this creation, the hidden world was found. The long sought clue. What is the clue? Yes, she is there. Word. Who is that word? She, of course she. We have been seeing that, that wisdom is she. That word is also she, the power of expression, the creator's power of expression, that is the word. The hidden word was found, the long sought clue, revealed by the meaning of a spirit's birth. Condemned to an imperfect body and mind. Why it was condemned? Its meaning is found because of her in the inconscience of material thing and the indignity of mortal life. Yeah, it is really the indignity. We belong to the glories of the Creator, but now we have fallen into ignorance, into darkness, into suffering. That is the indignity. We are bearing that thing, but now for all that the clue is there. The clue is she. A heart was felt in the spaces 
wide and bare. So this mass expansion of creation, wide and bare, without as you contend, bare, simple, there is a kind of a throbbing heart behind that thing, at its heart's heart, a burning love from white spiritual found. See the burning love from white spiritual found. Annul the sorrow of the ignorant depths. Suffering was lost in her immortal smile. Suffering was lost in her immortal smile. Where is suffering? Once she is there in front of you. So this is the beauty of her presence, the power of her presence, the dynamism of her presence. It gives sense, it gives beauty, it gives form, it gives content, it gives dynamism to this creation altogether. Suffering was lost in her immortal smile. So if only we can get a bit of that smile, there won't be any suffering at all. There won't be any suffering at all. How do you get that, a bit of that immortal smile? That immortal smile is in us, in a psychic being. Let it just open out. And the moment it opens out and smiles, asserts itself, there is no pain, there is no suffering, there is no difficulty at all. It takes care of everything, you see. It takes care of everything, you see. You simply smile at your difficulties and problems. You forget about all the other things, you see. All the rest, everything rest becomes futile, trivial, without any content, as if, you see. A heart was there. So, you see, he is now describing various ways. First, wisdom was there, word is there, heart is there, love is there. Now comes to life. A life from beyond grew here, grew conqueror here of death. A life from beyond. She is coming from her immortal plains. She is entering into this life of ours to conquer death. Beyond, she is coming from far beyond, from her original home of consciousness. From beyond, grew conqueror here of death. Well, conqueror of death, that is her task, conquest of death. That is the task she undertakes, not as a divine goddess, but as Savitri. The divine goddess taking mortal birth as Savitri. It is she who becomes conqueror here of death. Divine goddess sitting up there conquering death perhaps has not much meaning. The purpose of this creation will not be fully served. She has to come down here in the mortal world, accept death and conquer death. And conquer death. That is how the conquest will be of truth. To her no more was natural to mind. Yes, to her is very natural to mind. But now, once she is there, once mind has opened out to her, it does not make any mistake. It is not her. It does not go wrong. Wrong could not come here where all was light and love. So, why wrong comes to us? Why does wrong come to us? Because that light and love is not with us. Once you got true light and true love, you will, know, you will not do anything wrong at all. In other words, again, 
when the psychic is active you really don't make any mistake at all psychic is directly in contact with truth so whatever is done, is done by it is without any wrong the formless and the formed were joined in her she is without form she is with form also 